The French news agency AFP reports thousands of sacked South African miners are expected to gather today to protest their dismissal. They'll also mourn the death of a union leader killed in clashes with police. A union spokesman says the killing was execution style near a Lundman platinum mine. <laughs> Twelve thousand workers in Rustenburg, South Africa, were told on Friday they are without a job. The miners have been fired by the world's largest platinum producer for taking part in a three-week illegal strike. The action by Anglo-American Platinum led to the miners trying to gather in protest on a hillside. Police, backed by armored vehicles and a helicopter, dispersed the crowd. It followed a night of clashes in which it is claimed one miner was shot and killed by police using rubber bullets. It's reckoned 75,000, that's about 15% of the workforce, have been out on unofficial strikes. Friday's sackings have added to the tension and heaped more pressure on President Jacob Zuma and his ruling African National Congress. South African police, backed by armoured vehicles, dispersed the striking miners who are demanding higher wages. Hundreds of Amplatz miners gathered after a night of clashes in which one man was allegedly killed by police using rubber bullets. The incident sparked fears of more violence in a country where labor issues have become a matter of life and death. In August, police shot and killed 34 strikers at Longman's Marikana Platinum Mine. On Friday, a union branch leader was shot dead in his home in the same town. At least seven people have been killed around Rustenburg in strike-related violence this week. They were on an illegal strike, like most of the 75,000 miners who've also downed tools around the country. They say police killed a man on Thursday night. The actions of the police in the past weeks have clearly demonstrated they are not here you know, as a law enforcement agency, but they are here to protect the interests of the mining bosses in crushing this particular struggle for a genuine and legitimate demands of the workers. Gold mine bosses say they won't negotiate with workers representing themselves on illegal strikes either, but they have agreed to talk to unions about wages. The deal was brokered by the Chamber of Mines and the umbrella trade union group Kasatu. Next, they'll try to reach a similar agreement with platinum industry executives. But any deal struck will be far off what workers here are demanding. They say they get about $500 a month. They want up to 2000 The fact that workers at Lonman, who went on an illegal strike, were eventually rewarded with a pay rise of up to 22%, has sent the message that striking outside the country's labor laws can be rewarding. 